What is up on my chosen ones? Jazz Royce back now, guys. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. You want to know why? This dragon's about to raise the floor and I think I'm bolted, baby. Let's get into why. Now, before I begin, guys, please smash that like button, smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and make sure to hit that notification bell, please, and thank you guys. Let's get this channel back up into the algorithms, baby. I know the markets might be slow, but that does not mean that the Vault Army stops shining, baby. So, guys, the latest and greatest. Now, this is pre-recorded from the night before. To be honest with you, I was on my way to sleep, but I just got super excited in the shower thinking about the NFT, so I had to just hop on the mic real quick and let this energy out, all right? So, it's officially public the minting is live for all to get okay the third round has already gone live and on top of that guys the rare nfts are being revealed so far two out of the eight one of one nfts have been revealed the first one being snoop dog it dog right in the flesh baby look at how they made this look at the details in this guys how do they do this look at the details guys is this not snoop with the laker colors on guys pay attention to the details man now let's go scroll up real quick because this one caught me crazy man when i saw this one michael jordan baby number 23 the official mj look at that tell me this is not epic look at the arena in the background there goes michael with his uh with his cigar now guys don't be surprised if an nft like this starts going for like a low end of like 23 eth floor and then eventually 230 ETH. Like, I even posted that tweet over here, guys. Straight up, I was like, I'd personally put this legendary NFT up for at least 230 ETH. Now, this is what I have a question for. So, we know that there's going to be rare NFTs distributed completely random. Thank you to Chainlink, right? So, my whole thing is that since the NFTs haven't been shown to any of us yet, it's still treasure chest in our wallet. What if you had a rare NFT and you put it up for like half an ETH or even one ETH and sold it for that price? knowing how much you could have made if you would have just held on a little longer at least just to see it revealed that's how i'm thinking about it guys now about the minting man i know it was a mission and i'm so glad to come on here and say that yes guys i got me a dragon as well you know just like everybody else i had to kind of go through the motion it took me about 35 40 minutes of continuously of refreshing and hitting the mint refreshing connecting wallet hitting the mint so on and so forth until randomly it finally popped up and Despite the crazy volume of everyone trying to fight to get, you know, the, the round two whitelist minting, I was able to get mine, baby, for that 0.25 Ethereum price. Now, I also noticed, looking at the Vault chart, saw, it looked like a solid amount of folks out there that were selling their Vault tokens to buy the NFTs. Now, that's a type of logic that I cannot comprehend with. I could understand if you were doing the reverse, like you're getting the NFTs, so when you flip them for profits, you're taking a portion of those profits and increasing your vault bag. You know, that, that makes sense to me. But the opposite way is like people were sacrificing the long-term gains just for some short-term gratification. And, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, but that's really not the best way you want to go about building your wealth, man. Because when you see how many people are already putting their nfts up for sale it just lets you know a bit of what's in store and matter of fact i'm gonna switch this to go from high to low okay now some people are going crazy now obviously like look at all the millions of eth like i y'all crazy for that now but coming a little further down and it's a lot of people actually that are posting it for this many eth holy crap okay 500 eth 500 eth 300 eth and then you go a little further you got the 50 eth 40 eth 10 to 12 eth okay that seems decent 25 ETH. Remember, guys, all it takes is for someone to actually just make an offer on that or buy it out for as it is right over here. And that's it. It's officially locked in. People are going to see, oh my gosh, this guy bought it for this many ETH. Like, dang, why would he buy that dragon in particular? Hmm. That means other dragons that probably look similar to the one that sold for that price are also going to start looking like good bargains too because they're still going to be cheaper than whatever price a person buying it for 10 or 12 ETH is going to resell it for. You see what I'm saying, guys? So I'm new to NFTs. I'm not a pro at this at all. I'm learning just like you guys are. This is far different from, you know, just looking at charts and predicting market cap. But something like Vault, guys, and they're targeting major celebrities directly, using them in their NFTs. They're doing dragons, which is the first of its kind as well. And I haven't seen any 
NFT do a direct Michael Jordan one and with the attention in detail. Look at how they made Snoop Dogg as a dragon, guys. I want to see what the next six reveals are going to be for the rares. And am I holding a rare or not? I mean, I guess we're going to have to find out. Even if I'm not, guys, I'm still really excited because my biggest fear being, now I can say it honestly with you guys, was that I would not be able to mint an NFT. Because anytime there's something big happening, I would always have like the bad luck. <laughs> and it's something would always go wrong for me, whether it was a pre-sale, whether it was who knows what. But I'm glad to say that it actually went through this time. Like I said, it was a little bit of a grind, you know, it was an instant access for me like it was for some, but it paid off and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the coming days when the NFTs officially get revealed then we're going to see what the true floor price is going to be starting at. Also, upcoming news on Volti Change to come. And Voltoshi just stacking it up with news, stacking it up with news, stacking it up with news. Guys, it's going crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a wild ride that we're in for Volt Army. I hope you're ready because, being honest, this is really what's been keeping me going throughout the entire time in this slow bear market that we've been in. Fall Army's been keeping me going, man. So I hope the same for you guys. Let's stay strong. Let's stay excited and bolted. And let's see where this takes us, guys. So with that being said, folks, I'm Jazz Royce. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And I will catch each and every one of you guys at the top.